Watkins for Villa now, approaching the left edge of the penalty area. Stevens in front of him, Stevens gets the block in, it runs loose though. Leon Bailey turning, he's got too much space. Kelly gets the block in and then tapped in in the six yard box by Douglas Luiz. Early goals conceded by Bournemouth have been a theme and they've come back to haunt them here. Solanke onto his right foot, trying to drive it for goal. Straight out Martinez, who made a bit of a hash of the save, did manage to fumble it behind at the near post, but that's given the Cherries fans a bit of a lift on the far side. They win their first quarter of the game. Villa have the squeeze on. Now Hammer Trier on this near side, looking to play in Solanke. What a ball that is! It's put Dominic Solanke through one on one. Mings desperately trying to get back, and Solanke took too long. Left side of the penalty area, and in the end, Mings slid in and put it behind for a corner. The longer Solanke dwelt on it, the more to ground that Mings made up. Green number seven comes on the board, and Brooks seven on the back of the AFC Bournemouth shirt. A standing ovation not only from the Bournemouth supporters but a rousing reception from all of those around Villa Park as well, which makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck, because after 535 days and a heroic battle against cancer, David Brooks is back. Here he is now in the penalty, in fact, it's Jacob Ramsey, saved by Neto, but he can't keep it out. And Jacob Ramsey surely puts the game beyond Bournemouth with 11 minutes remaining. Inside left channel, left angle of the six-yard box. That's a lot better, into the near post, it's a lot better than that, it's a goal for Villa. Flicked into the back of the net by Buendia, not one of the obvious Villa aerial targets. And Villa have a third, 